Guys, so another day, another video. Um, today I'm in my car, my white Honda, and just like you saw in the previous video, or one of my previous videos, um, I will be reinstalling the NO2C in my car. So, what I'm basically doing, the harness is already patched in. All I need to do is solder and heat shrink and just to let you guys know my car is running on a missing tooth trigger now wasted spark um so from this video it will probably span a couple of days but i will be showing you how i convert my car to full sequential and we will investigate any gains losses or if anything happens whatsoever i'll be using the no2c which um, by default has two fuel channels and this is a four cylinder so you need four fuel channels so what I'll be doing I'll be using my fuel pump and the oh, what is it? yeah my fuel pump and my idle um, control output as the two other fuel channels and I will be maintaining the use of my I currently use my VVT as my fan output you the outputs are programmable so you can switch them around as you please so I have four outputs um, boost VVT idle and fuel pump so I'll just be using it to control my boost because I like electronic boost control and yeah boost and something else and my fan yeah the other two I'm going to show you how I do all of that I convert it in the software it's programmable and then we're going to be doing sequential injection on this car so stay tuned so I have not even started and you can see I'm already dripping the sweat and you guys say we're lucky in the Caribbean for having hot 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 sun So just about done. I um, feel like I've shown this like a million times. So I have a couple extra wires. We have a gray wire, a blue wire, and a yellow wire. Colors don't really matter. Um, the gray wire will be going to my wideband O2 sensor. And these two, since I'm going sequential injection, Sequential injection on a four cylinder you need four injector outputs. So I have these two wires for now. It's still wired in batch, but I left these two out. So when I'm ready, I'm going to connect these two to the two other injectors. Also here I have this short wire will be going to my clutch switch for my launch control. And that is pretty much it. And since I took my fuel pump output and I'm gonna use it for the sequential injection this green wire would normally well this green wire is for the fuel pump it would normally go to a fuel pump output on the ECU but since I re I'm reusing that output for the sequential injection I'm simply just going to be grounding this wire to the ground on the ECU so what it basically is Yes, when we turn on the key, the ground will become active. Oh, sorry, that's wrong. When we turn on the key, the fuel pump will be on full time because it's getting a constant ground. It's no longer being controlled by the ECU. For now, I just have it hardwired to the ground. So as soon as I turn my key on, it'll get 12 volts and ground. Um, I'll be picking up some toggle switches and then I'm going to be putting a switch on the dash so the fuel pump will actually be switched so I can turn it on turn it off as I please yeah so I just wanted to mention that so I started up my car and it was sounding really horrible as you can hear there's a quick tip so I figured everything was right something went wrong so what to do quick tip if you have the paint version go into your tooth logger start a tooth log and you will see this 
You see this tool tip right here? Shouldn't be. Means my VR sensor is reversed. The polarity is reversed. Now I was messing with my distributor for a while ago. I was cleaning up some wiring, so I must have thought that the wire is wrong. So I'm gonna fix that and I'm gonna pick up after. Okay, and this is it running properly. Let's do that two plug again. Such a useful feature. Wait for it. Alright, so we see just one line. I'm running a 12 minus 1 trigger and this is what a good trigger looks like. Right? So we'll pick up some of our rest later. <laughs> So it's been a few days, slight change in plans. Um, if you saw my previous video, you would see I used my trigger wheel, well, my distributor um, gear on the red hatch. So I have an unmodified um, distributor running on my car. But for now, I am running, let me show you guys. I'm running the basic distributor like I posted on the base tune which I linked in a previous video so for now basic distributor running on my car and next step will be sequential injection we just wanted to show you guys running idling pretty smooth the white line is not connected so <sighs> the FL ratio is a bit off um, what else I can I show you yeah so uh, I ended up with a uh, 11 degree trigger offset if you're doing it on your distributor on your D series or whatnot yours may be off based on the orientation of your distributor yep so just wanted to show you guys that basic distributor is working oh yeah and if you're wondering my trigger filter is set to weak and my trigger edge is set to leading so, as per the, the last couple of videos, the V0.3, speed of V0.3 is off my car. I wired in an NO2C and I began prepping the wiring for sequential injection. Sequential injection, we do require four injector outputs. However, the NO2C only has two injector outputs by default. It does have other outputs like the fuel pump, the idle control, the VVT and whatnot, which you can reprogram to work as fuel injector outputs, which is what I plan on doing. However, for now, I switch to the basic distributor setting. Distributor setting is a simple speedway no trigger setting um, for use with distributors. So say you have a, a distributor as long as your distributor, the teeth count on the trigger, the gear in your distributor matches your the number of cylinders in your engine. So if you have a four cylinder, as long as your distributor has a gear in there with four teeth, that can work. If you have a six cylinder and your distributor has six teeth in there, that can work. Same for eight cylinders and whatnot. You simply wire that up and use the the base trigger, the basic distributor trigger, sorry, and speed runner will take care of the rest. All you need to do is just sync your trigger angle so that it fires on number one when it needs to. You may ask why do that and not sequential. I did that because that is pretty much the easiest way to get speed runner running, which is why I included it on my base tune and I provide the guidance for the wiring for that. Um, Sequential injection on any speed reno is pretty easy, relatively easy, but this one is a lot easier, hence why I'm going to cover this one first. I'm gonna, that's why I went ahead and I'm going to start my car on this one, and the red car is also going to run on this one. Then I'm going to switch both cars to sequential injection. Right, so I mentioned that, that I'm using the NO2C. The NO2C has two fuel injector outputs. I'm going to re be 
reusing the fuel pump and the idle control output since I don't have an idle control valve on my car and my fuel pump I'm gonna be putting it on a switch yes so but to do that you're gonna need to go into the firmware and then I'll change it up a bit since by default it's only running on two cylinders but that is only for the NO2C the other speed earners the V0.3 V0.4 UA, UA4C and whatnot you don't need to do any code modifications so I think I just about covered everything so basic distributor for now the red car will be also be getting basic distributor and then I'm going to show you how I do four sequential on my, my car which is a bit more involved since I'm using the NO2C but on the red car it's just a matter of changing the wiring on the distributor a bit well the speed on the side not the stock wiring so hope this is clear hope I explained everything proper and catch you guys in the next one in the meantime like subscribe share leave a comment down below and till then stay safe guys